Hello everyone and welcome to another timeless video. So today we're going to be taking a look at Mono Blue Belcher deck in timeless format. So I've been in the mood of stifling some fools and I've seen some Mono Blue Belcher decks in modern as of recent. And recently we actually got some wildcard refunds from Soren. So I'm actually putting that to use on the subtlety here. So as you can see, if you look at our land base, because we are playing a Char Vulture deck, we actually don't play any lands. Everything is a spell, which can also be played as a land. Because of that, the Char Vulture is going to deal lethal damage as soon as it comes down on the battlefield in this deck. So how do we get the mana to pull off a 7 mana combo with the Char Vulture? Well, because we are playing Mono Blue, we're going to be pulling that off with the Mana Drain in this deck. Or if opponent does decide to show and tell for us, we could also put down a Goblin Char Belcher on the battlefield and then you can shoot at opponent's face. Otherwise, our second win con is going to be getting the show and tell out into an Omniscience and the usual. You go into Fate of Wish, grab an approach of the Second Sun, and you either draw it through the One Ring or you can also use the Saloon Division, which will look at the top six cards and you can reveal an instant or sorcery card into your hand. And then it'll require just one more draw into drawing the Approach of the Second Sun because Approach of the Second Sun actually puts it at the seventh from the top. So you would actually need to draw one extra card and that can be through the One Ring or through another Saloon Division, things like that. Otherwise, you also have Seagate Restoration. You can use this to draw a bunch of cards as well after casting the Approach of the Second Sun. So you got a lot of options here to draw into the Approach of the Second Sun. Obviously, it's not going to be as clean compared to the Omnitel combo deck. But again, to emphasize, this is going to be our second win con. Our primary win con is going to be the Char Vulture. So I would say even if you get the Omniscience down and do not win on that same turn, next turn, you're probably going to be winning anyways. And last but not least, let's talk about the subtleties and the Commandeers. Because we are playing MDFC lands, every land can be used to pitch for the Commandeer in this deck, which is actually pretty sick. So let's say if opponent plays a Planeswalker or the One Ring, you could also steal that and then play it for yourself. Or let's say if they want to reanimate, you could also steal a reanimate. And same goes for Subtlety. This is a way to slow opponents down, especially if they're playing aggro. And since we are playing only blue lands, if you do play the Harbinger of the Seas out, all the lands now become come in untapped and you also don't have to pay for any life at all. So having said that, I'm gonna be hopping over to some timeless best of three to show you guys how the deck does. So let's hop on over. All right, I'm not really sure how good this is gonna be. Man, if this was a untapped land, I would have actually kept this one. Eh, maybe not. One lander. Land, land, land. Land, land, land. Okay. Chalk that in. Just so that maybe like I'm bluffing, you know, a brainstorm. Reanimate. Reanimate. Right. Surely I don't have a stifle, right? Surely not. That's not the one I have. Yep. Okay. Okay, um, I might actually just go show and tell into a one ring here. I feel like a gigantic creature is gonna about to come down though. They are missing lands.
The problem with just sl slamming down the one ring is that it doesn't give me protection, you know? They're gonna get rid of my one ring. Or not. This is probably a bad matchup, by the way. How many griefs do you have? How many? This is their fourth copy, I swear. Uh, do I just win if I do this, though? Nice. So, it is a Soren combo deck. Hmm. Which is a bit concerning. I'll have some Spell Pierce. And Disruptor Flutes. Um, Brazen Borrowers as well. Subtlety is really good against Grief, though. Oh, I guess I could commandeer like their Sorin. Right. I have to cut six cards. How do I make the six card cut? Maybe some stifles, like a copy of a one ring. Let's put all the lands here. Probably Harbinger. Harbinger is probably bad against them. Uh, you know what? Let's actually cut a brazen B. Okay. What should I do? <laughs> um, this is so expensive, though. It's a lot of vein rippers. Well, now I know not to show and tell. Um. Right? Right. Now I know not to show and tell. Alright, play your 2 mana card please, or Sorin. Thank you very much. That is not exactly what I was looking for you to do. Okay, now you can play like a 1 mana card. Or a 2 mana card. Or even a 3 mana card. There we go. Oh. I mean... I guess we can just do it, right? I was just gonna go one ring, but change of plan. How how are we winning? <laughs> how is this even happening? That uh, turn one commandeer. It was a bit expensive, but actually might have done it. Dark Ritual. Boop. <laughs> how, did, how did we win? Um... I don't know. I'm gonna go against the grain and keep a hand like this. Oh god, help me. <laughs> Uh, 
stifle. I think I'm gonna subtlety the stifle. No! I feel sad. You know? I feel sad. I mean, I don't know. I need my lands. Wow. I don't know if I should. I think I'm just gonna tap. I'm just gonna play as tap land. I just need to get lands. Hoping I draw like a mana drain here. I, yeah, mana drain would be probably the best card to actually draw here. I mean, to be fair, I kept a really risky hand. I haven't done anything this game, so there it is. Oh yeah, I'm super dead. I am super duper dead. Okay, let's have um Brazen Borrower and Stern Scoldings. They're playing this. Oh, I thought this was a fetch land for some reason. The stifles out. <laughs> Yeah, stifles out. I think common deers can be cut. We'll try something like this. I mean, that was that was my bad, right? I just kept a terrible hand for whatever reason. Um, I mean, that is Mana Drain on turn 2. Okay, I think we won. I don't think they expect an Omniscience. Yeah, I don't think so. You may change the target of a instant or sorcery spell. That's pretty cool. We'll put the slick shot show off on top. And if they try to kill the subtlety, we can flash this in. Nothing. Okay, we won. Okay, go next. I wish I didn't keep a bad hand in game one. This one is definitely going to be a challenge if we can't draw a stern scolding though. That is one card that we really really have to draw in game three. We do have a subtlety and a brazen bee. 
Is this a keep? Turn three char vulture. It doesn't seem like so bad. Probably have to get rid of this Fey. Oh, thank God it's a tap land. Mana drain as well. Yeah, the subtlety might be coming down by exiling the Fey of Wish. Okay, that's fine. Now we got a mana drain. Uh, what what does a um, mana drain do if we do this? Do we get zero mana or two mana? Let's see. Do we get zero mana or two mana? Hmm. What to do? Opponent knows that we have a... This is a Char Vulture deck though. I guess I still have subtlety even if I do this. Like even if they if, even if they do get rid of this, I do have subtlety. Or mods crypt. Mishra's bauble. Thank god they didn't have lethal. They actually could have definitely gotten lethal. Maybe not? Maybe not. Okay. Just gotta make opponent have it. Well, we have a Mana Drain, Show and Tell, Commandeer, and Subtlety. Like, this cannot get any better. Ah, uh, that is... Not really what I wanted to see. Let's say I Commandeer, then I have to get rid of a Subtlety. This is just too expensive. But... Let's just go Subtlety and a Mana Drain. Hmm. Well, uh... We have a problem. <laughs> we have a problem. We do have a problem. If they uh, have an omniscience, we might be screwed. We might be screwed. Let's hope that they don't have omniscience next turn. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hope they don't have it. Okay. 
Well. <laughs> Let's hope. They don't have omniscience in hand. One time. Nice. Okay, it's a mana tree. Whoops. Got nothing. My bad. Hmm. Do I care about this? Probably not. The good thing about Omniscience in this deck is that any card that we draw, including lands, can be played. Like this one. Preferably, I don't want to, you know, commandeer a show and tell. Oh, they don't even have a uh, three islands yet. So, oh, we just won. <laughs> How are we winning? Why is this? Why are we winning? I I don't know. Okay, Born Upon a Wind. Stifle is actually really nice against her deck too. Probably a Subtlety, right? I, I think Subtlety is probably bad. They don't have any creatures. And it's not like we're trying to aggro them down. Harbinger is also... I, I would say the Harbinger is okay. But it's not going to be like a deal breaker. Commandeer is also decent. So, like, Harbinger is okay, Commandeer is okay, so I'm just gonna go down on two copies of Commandeer, I think. Although the Commandeer thought seizing was actually pretty nice, but obviously that was incredibly expensive. So, I think the trick here is gonna be um, drawing into either a Jawari, Spell Pierce. Like, this one looks okay. They're gonna probably have to get rid of like a spell pierce here. They might actually get rid of a a land. It's pretty risky considering I'm I'm playing like I'm on the draw and I'm playing 24 lands. I don't know why they did that, by the way. Why did my opponent do that? Okay, there it is. Assemble the team. Another assemble the team. I think I'm actually just gonna run the Brazen B out, right? Run this out, keep attacking. Let's see. Should I just run this out? I, th I think we should because if they just draw a land, it's just going to be... They can just pay for it. Another assemble the team. Maybe I should have just sync on the disassemble here. 
And I get in there for one more damage. They're still looking for something. Yeah, maybe that was actually a misplay here. Not playing sync on this assemble the team. Right? I, I gave them like two tutor spells there, so... What about this brainstorm? Uh, it's just one mana. Man, I'm second guessing myself a lot. I don't like this. Oh. We got another creature attacking that has flash. Thoughtseize. I think this is okay, right? Because either they take the Char Belcher or we can sink. Oh, maybe I could have also just done this. I guess they could have a Veil of Summer, though. Okay. Nice. The thing that was actually very nasty about this hand is Sink actually plays around Veil of Summer. Ooh la la. A little bit of a lag there. What's this? Wooded Foothill? Stomping Ground? Into Faithless Looting. Oh, it's a show and tell deck. Oh, it's a sneak and shift. It's a sneak and shift. Wait, do I just win if I play this out? Hold up. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, I think they actually play Fury, thinking about it. Almost lost the game. Okay. GG go next. Oh my god. What is happening? Okay, so we want some Brazen Bee. Versus like, um, Pitting Needles or Disruptor Flute. Um, I guess I do want Disruptor Flute versus like, Shifting Woodland or something like that. Or their Sneak Attack. Commandeer has to be good, right? Or is just, uh, playing a Spell Pierce better? They played things like Fable, which the Commandeer could be nice. I think Stifle actually might be bad versus them. I do want Harbingers. Yeah, maybe Stifle is actually bad. Oh, Subtlety is probably bad. Right. Right. Yeah, Subtlety is bad. Totally forgot about that. Well, pierce that. Malevolent Rumble. I would say that's actually a pretty nice mill. We need an untapped land next turn. 
Otherwise, we might actually lose the game here. Maybe. They don't actually have any cars in the exile, so even if uh, Ulamog does come down, it doesn't actually do anything. Oh, baby. Oh, sneaky. Sneaky. That's actually really good. They're one of Titan in their deck. That's insane. How did they do that? One of Titan, by the way. One of Titan, by the way. I mean, am I gonna win against the Titan here? I don't think so, so let's just get out of here. That was very lucky. That was extremely lucky by them. Darn. I guess we have to play Born Upon a Wind. It's just one copy though. Do I actually have to play around one copy? Probably not. I think we want to try to win with Harbinger. And hopefully they don't have a Fury. Hopefully speaking. Hopefully speaking. Come on, untap land off the top. Not it. That's not it. I do like genuinely think like if they cyborg it out Fury, like this Harbinger may just win the game on its own. But the problem is it has to be next turn or it, it was actually this turn. It was this this turn or next turn. I mean, they discarded a Fury, so it has to come out here. Yeah, it has to come out here. It's so vital, actually. Otherwise, we are dead. We are dead. Well, at least uh, Disruptor Flute came down to stop the Shifting Woodland. That's one good news for us. Still not out of it yet until this Harbinger actually comes down onto the battlefield. This is actually our first time getting stuck on lands in this session. I'm not really like mad about it, but just a little bit disappointed. <laughs> I wish they'd name show and tell and we draw into a land. Oh, thank god. Okay, now, can I see a land? Let's go. Draw me a land. Oh my god. There's four less cards. There's four less playable cards now, so our chances went up. Drawing a land. Oh my god. This is impossible.
This is actually impossible. The probability probably is about like maybe close to nine, uh, 49%. Yeah, this is insane. This is actually insane. This is actually insanity. Like, what is going on? Oh my god, it's a tap land. I'm giving the opponent so many turns in a row. Oh my god. This is actually insane. I think I actually gave opponent like maybe five turns. So I'm um, starting from turn two. So if they have a fury in hand, I, I mean, we lost, but. So we'll see. I mean, we, we might still be able to win if they never draw Fury. But the chances are slim. Draw Kuseb. That's a cool card. That is a cool card. So I have a couple choices here. I could one ring or I could... Harbinger again. I mean at this point... I guess we'll just keep aggroing opponent down with Harbinger of Seas. Because if they get a Fury anyways, I lose, so... Putting the one ring down doesn't really do anything. Charbelcher's already dead. Um, they already got rid of a show and tell. So, yeah. I guess a subtlety. Drawing a subtlety would be really good. That is their third one ring. So this is their last copy of one ring. I'm really unable to draw any interaction spells, huh? Oh, they were able to just hard cast it. Yeah, we didn't draw any interaction spell this game, huh? No brazen borrowers. No mana drains. No spell pierce. Nothing. All right. Uh, this is probably energy, right? Okay. We got Jawari and a Mana Drain. But that's an Orcish Bowmaster. Kind of annoying. Yeah, kind of annoying. Um, what is this deck with Giganta though? Like, is it an ore job? Like, what kind of deck is it? 
Is it Mardu? Okay, it's a Mardu. I kind of regret using the Mana Drain, if so, because they could have a Static Discharge. I mean, Static Prison. That would be bad. But it's game one, so I'm just going to play it out. I guess I can Commandeer. Oh yeah, I can just Commandeer. <laughs> oh man, this car is broken. Marionette. Just gonna play it as safe as possible. Okay, we won. No static prisons coming out. That's good. That is actually kind of sick, right? Commandeer to get rid of a static prison. That is actually pretty sick. Also, my opponent fetched in a way that doesn't get hit by Harbinger. Interesting. I'm gonna go four Stifles and four um, Stern Scolding, I think. Probably get rid of a Harbinger. And I'm gonna get two Commandeers out. Maybe... Maybe even actually all of them. Actually, yeah, thinking about it. Because even if they Static Prison, I can just uh, Brazen Borrower. Which is a lot better than a Commandeer versus them. Nice. Not nice. Yep, not nice. They might actually take away the Stifle, by the way. They might actually take away the Stifle. If their only land is a fetch land. Huh? What? How did you take out the worst land? How? How, opponent? Did they read it wrong? Maybe they read minus two toughness. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, so we are continuing our journey with more decks with Stifle. And I wanted to do something like this uh, for a while, but I didn't have enough subtlety because of Mythic Wild cards. And after Soaring got banned and getting free four Mythic Wild cards, I decided to craft the rest of my subtleties. And here it is. So when I was building this deck, I was, you know... I was thinking about maybe going maybe going a Troxa instead of the One Ring, but I felt like playing with four cups of Mana Drain, it makes more sense to play the One Ring, right? Because you can go One Ring or the Charbelcher on on turn three after Mana Draining. So I thought it was just it was it made more sense to have a One Ring instead of a Troxa, even though Show and Tell does synergize with a Troxa a little bit more, but Nonetheless, uh, show and tell into omniscience, still really nice. Um, show and tell into Charbelcher, is that a thing? I, I guess you're getting a one mana discount, so maybe there's a world where that can actually win you the game. But yeah, it's pretty sick. It's pretty sick. Um, I saw some modern lists that were playing mono blue Belcher, so that's why I decided to try this one out. And I've been kind of in the mood to play some stifled decks, so. So I just kind of naturally gravitated towards something like this. And what's really cool is if you're playing against a show and tell, uh, you can really get them, right? They have to watch out for omniscience from you. If, if they show and tell and if you have a Charbelcher in your hand, you could just kill them outright. So that's also another thing that you can do, which is actually pretty sick. And the subtlety and the commandeer, like these zero mana spells are actually pretty nice as well. Um, a lot of the times I actually commandeer the Thoughtseize away. Even though it's actually really, really bad. Like, minus three cards just to get rid of one card. I mean, it's technically two cards because I steal their Thoughtseize and then I Thoughtseize the opponent. So, technically, you know, it's it's a minus one card advantage, but uh, you get to look at their hand and that's an advantage. And picking away, like, their combo pieces, that's also an advantage. So, 
Commandeer, really, really nice card in this deck because, you know, you can just ditch all the lands that you have. Same with Subtlety, right? Especially like a combo deck where your deck is kind of weak to discard spells and if they try to grief, if you Subtlety their grief, it's really bad because they go down on a card and if they want to do grief again, they have to go down on another card. So Subtlety is really good in keeping the grief in check, but... And if you went first, you can go Subtlety, the grief, and then leave up a counter spell on turn two. And another thing that I actually really like is this deck, unironically, plays more counter spells than some of the decks that I played recently. And that's because Jawari's Disruption is part of a lands. So, along with Jawari's Disruption, uh, mana draining, giving you extra mana to ramp into one ring or char vulture, and then you stifle your opponent's lands, and that'll actually put you ahead in the game, especially when you're playing a combo deck. That is like it's actually pretty brutal and the only time we actually lost this um today was to a sneak and shift in that match in game two opponent had a one of a uh, titanium industry in their hand and in game three we got stuck on two lands and we just kind of eventually lost the game because opponent had like eight lands by the time we had like three but we are playing a 24 land deck and this only happened in all of the matches that we played today in the session, you only got stuck on lands once. So I can't really complain, right? I can't really complain even though the game didn't really feel that good. But I mean, we are playing a card game. So even though there is some variance there, uh, sometimes you just got to suck it up. So yeah, that is going to be it for today's video. Unfortunately, we actually didn't see a combo into Omniscient's combo into Fate of Wishes into a Approach of Second Sun. That's something that I wanted to actually pull off at least once but didn't get there. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye-bye.